I'm Billiam, and we are the Digi Dudes. And I'm sorry if I'm not projecting that well today, or uh, I don't sound quite normal. I am in the midst of a head cold right now, so that's where we are. But I wanted to keep on making this week's episode. I didn't want to miss it. Because this week is a special episode because it is our Patreon-sponsored episode, Devi Dude. This episode is sponsored by War. And he wanted to have a history of episode on the Ten Legendary Warriors. And you're all about that because that also involves who? Loosemon. And who's Loosemon? The guy that they fight. One of your favorite Digimon is really what I was telling you. Yes! With. All right, guys. So let's do the squad update. Oh no, Tai Chi fell over. Tai Chi, are you okay? Okay, someone might call the ambulance. <laughs> we'll take care of Tai Chi later. So let's check out the squad update right now. On my original Deep Sabers here, I've got a Pukumon, um, which honestly, I'm going to end up letting him die today because the batteries in this thing need to be replaced. So when the batteries need to be replacing these old devices they get kind of funky the colors will start fading on them the sound sounds off and the pendulum doesn't work right in this one the pendulum's not working right and the sound is way off on it so i'm gonna need to replace the batteries and then let pukamon die who do you got going on your vital bracelet though pico devimon devi dot you got your pico devimon on your custom devi dude dim and then i've got a Black War Greymon going here on the Mad Black Roar Dim. Okay, so now that we did that, let's just talk about our giveaway real quick, and then we'll get into some other cool stuff and then get right into the episode. So, currently, we have a giveaway going on right now. This giveaway is in partnership with Boz Joe SD Sticks. We are going to be giving away all of these amazing things that you guys see up on the screen right now. We've got the Gammon Dim. We've got the Impulse City Dim. We've got the Digi Dudes Dim set with my custom evolution line on it and Devi Dudes custom evolution line on it. We've got one of these awesome SD programmers there and two blank SD sticks. Plus, we're also giving away the old Digi Dudes sticker and the new Digi Dudes sticker, which we only have like two or three of the old ones left. So once they're gone, they're gone. We're not going to have any more of the old Digi Dudes stickers left. I've already got it packed up and ready to go right here. Ready to put your name on it. Wrong spot. That's the spot that it goes. Ready to put your name on it right there as soon as you guys enter and have a chance to win this giveaway. All you have to do to enter is super easy because that's all I want to do. I want to make it easy. It's all about giving back to everybody who watches, subs, likes, subscribes. Everybody who's out there constantly watching and just being awesome there. So I just want to give back to everybody. That's all. And also giving gifts to us. People have sent us stuff, and that's really awesome. Exactly. So I just want to get back to everybody else, too, in our own way. Wow, so, Christmas so is already coming? <laughs> it could be Christmas or whatever, or your birthday for you guys. All you have to do to enter is just shoot me an email. That's it. Nothing crazy. Super simple. Shoot me an email. Say hi. Whatever you want to say. I've had people ask me questions about different Digimon stuff they needed help with, which I was more than happy to help them in the emails. Again, Whatever. So all you have to do is send me an email, say hi, and you want to enter the giveaway. Um, link is down in the description to my email there. Make it even easier for you guys. And speaking of sending us stuff, Digimon Tamer sent us a package in the mail. And Devi Dude has no idea what it is. I only know what's in here for Devi Dude. He said there's other stuff in here for me, too, which I had no idea about until I picked it up. So let's open it up and find out what he sent us, Devi Dude. Okay. It's a package within a package. It's a package within a package. Okay. Did I just say quackage? It kind of sounds like you said quackage. What is going on here? Another package. There's another package within more packages. Oh my gosh, what is all this? Okay. All right, we'll start out with these things first, and then we'll get into everything else going on here. What is in here? Oh my gosh, this is so awesome! Wait, which one's for me? Hold on, hold on, Debbie dude. We still have more things to open here. Okay. So this is what was for Debbie dude that I knew about. Here. Is it a pylon? Yeah, let's check out all this. Okay, so this is what he sent me for you that I knew about. 
He sent me a bunch of cards. Well, sent you actually a bunch of cards for your deck there. Got sent us the Pico Devamon cards because he knew that we just didn't have them yet at the time. Which we recently pulled a couple, so we got one for Devi Dude, but this is even better. Here, you got the Devamon ones, which is the ones that you need to complete your deck, and the Lady Devamon, which you didn't have at all yet for your deck. Awesome. So that is so awesome. Thank you so much. So, 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 so. Now let's check out what else we got here. We have a Paimon Mini and the Pinocchio Mon Mini. What? You already have the Pinocchio Mini. I have one that's missing an arm over here that I got them just because I wanted one knowing that his arm was missing. But this is amazing. I've got one now that has his arm. You want my armless one? Is that what you're saying I have two now? Yes. No problem. Here you go, but I'll take it right off the shelf. That is so cool. I'm excited to put them with the collection. Wait, wait. Uh -huh. So I think we're going to put Piedmon over here with all of our other evil Digimon collection over there. And now let's check out what else is here. Oh, these are so cool. There's also new straps for the vital bracelet here. With our custom connections here. A red with black highlights here. And then a black with red. That looks really awesome. Oh, look, and you can pop out more to make it even tighter if you need. Oh, that's so cool. They look awesome. There's something that I would really like. Before. And then the Pico Devamon vinyl. I've been looking all over for this. Oh, this is so cool. So this is from set one of the vinyl keychains there. And this was actually one of the rare mystery ones in the package. We only were able to get our hands on set two. And we have a complete collection of set two there. Except for... Oh, no, we Edamon. are missing one. Edamon. Yeah, we are missing Edamon from set two. That is the one that we are missing. Oh, man, that is amazing. Thank you so much for that. That is so cool. Right, Diffy Dude? Yeah. All right, guys. So now let's actually, we got all the squad updates. We talked about the giveaway, everything else. Let's get right into the episode and the history of the 10 Legendary Warriors. So the 10 Legendary Warriors, if you guys don't know to begin with, 10 Digimon originally from like the ancient digital world. And they all have ancient in the beginning of their names. So we're going to be seeing ancient a lot and it's kind of going to get a little annoying. But bear with us here because it's just part of it. So the 10 ancient legendary warriors are the strongest um, ultimate level or mega for the dub that pretty much have ever existed in the digital world. They are legendary Digimon who then end up passing down traits throughout to other Digimon throughout history. So Devi Dude, do you know any of the 10 legendary warriors? Can you remember any of them? Ancient Greymon, Ancient Garurumon. I forget. <laughs> Those two are basically the most important ones that we're going to talk about the most. But then there's also Ancient Irismon, there's Ancient Volcanomon, there's um, Ancient Sphinxmon, there's Ancient Megatherimon, which if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I always kind of mess that one up. Ancient Beetlemon, Ancient Troyamon, Ancient Myrmamon, and Ancient Wisemon are the 10 legendary Digimon there. And just a quick overlap of overlap of them. Each one of them has a certain trait or attribute to that Digimon that they are known for. Um, like Ancient Greymon is fire. He is the Digimon of fire. There's Ancient Grumon, which is light. There is Ancient Irismon, which is wind. Ancient Beetlemon is thunder. Ancient Wisemon is metal. Ancient Myrmamon is water. Ancient Megatherimon is ice. Ancient Finxmon is dark. Ancient Volcanomon is rock or earth. And Ancient Troyamon is wood. And each one of those is has a spirit or an attribute to them that they are known for. Each one of these legendary warrior Digimon also passed down a trait to all other Digimon from them that has come afterwards. So Ancient Greymon passed down the dragon typing 
to Digimon after him. And do you know what he's the first of, Devi Dude? The first Greymon. You're right. He's the first ever Greymon type. And until Blitz Greymon came about, he was also the only Greymon type that actually had guns on him before. He has cannons on his shoulders. And it's kind of hard to see because his image, there is um, a lot going on with him. He's also the only Greymon type that's bipedal, meaning he walks on all four legs, Devi Dude. Wow. All the other ones walk on two legs. Um, there's also Ancient Garurumon. And yeah. you know what he's the first of? The first Garurumon. Exactly. He's the first Garurumon. And he passed down the trait of the Beast Man um, trait to people. The Digimon, not people. The Digimon from there. He's also, up until Crest Garurumon came out, he was the first and only Garurumon that had blades. or That had a sword, too. He has those two great swords. And then... Um, he's not, he's actually a little bit kind of funny for a great, for a Gurumon, I mean, because he walks up on two legs, which we have seen some Gurumon on two legs. Yeah, like, where, where Gurumon? In Crest Gurumon, yes. But he's pretty, like, humanoid looking for being a Gurumon and passing down the beast spirit, like, the beast attribute to people. The Digimon, I mean. Stop saying people, why not beasts? <laughs> I know, right? And then from there, we're going to go to Ancient Beetlemon, who passed down the insoi, the, the insect, was it, trait down from there. Then we got Ancient Irismon, which then passed down the wing, was it, the wing beast, who or the it? wing man, or the bird man who trait. Who the dark ones? We're going to get to that one. He's a special one that I like to talk about. Who passed down the bird man trait and the fairy trait. And then we're going to talk about from there... We have Ancient Troymon, which then passed down the plant. Ancient Volcanomon, which then passed down the rock or earth type. We have, um, there's a lot of them here, so I'm sorry. Because I'm also still a little shaky up in the head because of my head cold here. Trying to remember them all. There's Ancient um, Megatherimon, who passed down the ice tree. There's um, Ancient Wisemon, that passed down the mutant trait. And then there is, and then there's ancient Myrmamon that passed on the water trait. And then the last one I want to talk about is ancient Sphinxmon, which then passed down the demon trait and mystic beast trait. Like Devimon? Devimon's not actually a demon. He's a fallen angel type. He's a little different there. Like but, demon. Exactly. So... As we have Ancient Garurumon being the light attribute, you have Ancient Sphinxmon, on the other hand, being the dark attribute. And all the ten legendary warriors are seen as guardians of the digital world, the guardians of the ancient digital world there. But Ancient Sphinxmon is the only one that is actually feared out of them all. All the other ones are looked at as like great protectors, but Ancient Sphinxmon being a dark attribute, all the other Digimon kind of fear him a bit there. Um, he is the guardian of... Death itself is what they say. And he did pass on the demon trait there. He's not actually a bad Digimon, though. Because not all dark things are evil. For some reason, he found, sounds like he's like, like the devil for the Digimon universe. Kind no, of. not actually. No, he's not. He's more of just kind of like the guardian of it. And he can easily be... Bad, but on the other hand, he could also be good. Just like they like um devil for the Digimon world. That is a discussion for another time, Debbie. Do that'd be a great episode to do in the future. If you guys want to see that, who's like the devil of the di digital world, let us know down in the comments if that's something you guys want to see for a future history of episode. There. Now that we talked about who the ten legendary warriors are, let's talk about some shows they show up in some media that they're in. Now, Devi Dude, they show up in one of your favorite shows, don't they? Which one is that? Front to Tear. Because you love... Vesma! Yes. They show up in Front Tier there, and the ten legendary warriors in Digimon Frontier are actually... Kids. Well, no. But not the ancient ten legendary warriors, which is what we're talking about in this episode. That's a whole other topic for a whole other episode. Um... They actually fought against Lusman Child Mode in the ancient digital world. So the story is Lusman um, Rookie Level or Child Level 
stopped a war between the Beast Man Digimon and the Humanoid Digimon there. And by doing this, he brought peace to the digital world. But over time, his power kind of corrupted him and got to him. And he started trying to conquer and take over the digital world and became like a tyrant villain. So the ancient, 10 legendary ancient warriors got together to fight against him. And we already said that, how these guys are some of the strongest of the strong, the top tier Digimon there. They are way stronger than any other ultimate or mega level for the dubs there ever existed before them. But still... It took it, 10 of them, right? Yeah! To even fight against Lusmon. And, and also, well, mm -hmm. well, Lusmon was like so strong that they couldn't really even, even, even uh, destroy him. They he were only just able to capture him. Exactly. All but Ancient Greymon and Ancient Gururumon actually died in the battle against Lusmon. And before they died is when they passed down their traits to everyone else there. And it took Ancient Greymon and Ancient Gururumon to seal Lusmon away in the Dark Area. If you guys are familiar with the Dark Area, it is a space outside of the digital world that is where um, Digimon who don't basically deserve to be reincarnated into a Digitama, go as, like, the afterlife. It's basically the digital world's version of, like, hell. And Lusmon was locked away and sealed in there. And that's all they were able to do. And because then, he was so strong. Exactly. And that, that they wouldn't be able to actually, like, become, keep him from doing anything. Exactly, baby dude. And Ancient Greymon and Ancient Gurumon used the last of their power to do that and then perished shortly after that. And again, passing on that dragon and beast-type attributes to the Digimon from there. The only other media that any of the Ancient Ten Warriors show up in is in Digimon Cross Wars. Volcanomon shows up, Ancient Volcanomon, shows up in that show. But he is severely depowered, like most other Digimon in Cross Wars are. And he's just kind of there for like a one episode or so. And he doesn't do anything. He's just kind of like a throwaway villain. Which is kind of upsetting. Because like he is one of the ten legendary ancient warriors there. Now that we talked about the history of them... The media, they not showing up in any mangas or anything like that. There's like um, cards, probably. There are cards. And recently, as of the newest set being released in English, the ancient Ten Ancient Warriors there are a big part of it. I am currently actually building a um, green hybrid deck myself, which focuses on Ancient Beetlemon there. Um, so they're becoming a large, a big part of the current meta right now for the new, for the English version of the card game. But now let's, uh, now let's switch gears, guys, over to devices. So far, the only devices that they have shown up on is the Pendulum Z series. Throughout all of the Pendulum Zs, the Nature Spirit, Deep Savers, Nightmare Soldier... Metal Empire, uh, Wing Guardians, and Virus Busters, we, you were able to have at least one of the ten legendary ancient warriors. There's some crossovers between some of the devices where there's a couple on each. But throughout the set, there's the only times you've ever been able to get them on a device. And if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong about this one. Um, I believe they're also counted as super ultimate level on these devices. Or no. No. Comment down below if I'm wrong. Um, let, let me know down in the comments there if I, <laughs> if they're just ultimate level or um, dub again for the dub. What was it? Mega for the dub, guys. Or if they're super ultimate level there. Um, let me know down in the comments there. So without going into an insane amount of detail on each individual one, that is pretty much everything you're going to want to know about them. There's not really a lot of media with them. They were real kind of niche to the Digimon Frontier 
um, anime there, and we haven't seen them pop up a lot in any well, any other media past then. I'm hoping we might see more of them because they are a really cool aspect. Daddy? Yeah, Debbie, dude. I've seen the whole show from to tear, and I'm pretty sure that they don't even come in there at all. They do. They're talked about a lot in there, and you see them a lot, but you don't actually, they're not actually there fighting in the show. No. No. Um, not there. So, besides that, is where you really only focus on them and see them there. Most of their lore is a, around that story also. Um, again, because they are ancient, we haven't seen them in modern Digimon stuff. I'm kind of hoping they might bring some, they might bring them back around and do something with them. Because they are really cool Digimon overall. And they're extremely powerful. And they're said, like for instance, for instance, ancient Mermamon is said to control all of the net ocean there. And is has the power over all Digimon down there and is like the lord of the sea there. And then like ancient Troyamon is so massively huge of a Digimon that the other ancient warrior Digimon could fit inside of it. And it's a giant wooden horse covered in cannons and guns. And that is pretty crazy cool. So, again, I like them myself. I want to see more of them. I hope Bandai does more with them in the future. Even if it's just more devices they show up on. Again, the Pendulum Z was the first time we ever saw them in a device. And that took a long time before we finally got them. Oh, they were in the related Digivice, obviously, that went along with. The Digimon Frontier show, but besides that, no other devices. And if you guys like these history of episodes like this, make sure you giggle blast that like button. And turn to me with the scrap button down below. It helps us out a ton. We greatly appreciate <coughs> it. Thank you to everybody who watches, subscribes, likes, comments. You're all the best out there. Um, if you guys want um, to talk to me more, please go check out my Instagram. I am super active there. And I am constantly chatting with people. I'm helping people all the time with any Digimon questions they have. Um, I love helping everybody and just kind of spreading the joy of Digimon out there. I am starting to take to Twitter just because I see a lot of things on there that I like. I'm not really active on it yet. But if you guys want to check us out on Twitter, feel free. It's the Digi Dudes. That's us. <laughs> and me. All right, guys. And as always, a special thank you to our Patreon supporters. Thank you to War for picking this topic for this week's episode. Thank you to... Digital Dream. And thank you to Digimon Tamer. Also, thank you to Digimon Tamer for sending all this amazing stuff to us. I cannot wait to start playing with it. All right, guys. As always, from me, my family, to you, have a digitastic day. Peace.